Hi, this is going to be a quick introduction to the new phylogenetic comparative method surface, the purpose of which is to fit macroevolutionary models to obtain an objective picture of the extent of phenotypic convergence in a clade. Surface is implemented in an R package of the same name, which can be obtained from CRAN or from my website, and is described in a new paper in Methods in Ecology and Evolution, which I've co-authored with Luke Mahler. The independent evolution of similar phenotypes in different lineages provides strong evidence for the power of natural selection to shape organisms to their environment. Similar sets of ecomorphs, morphological forms adapted to a particular ecological niche, have evolved repeatedly in Hawaiian spiders, Caribbean lizards, and African cichlids. To statistically demonstrate deterministic convergence, we need to be able to identify the extent of phenotypic similarity that might occur by chance, as even random evolution within a constrained trait space might result in uh, many phenotypically similar species just by chance, even if they have not experienced deterministic convergence toward the same adaptive peak or evolutionary regime. An important advance allowed the use of evolutionary models containing explicit shifts between adaptive peaks. The ornstein uhlenbeck model combines a stochastic random walk with deterministic attraction to one or more optimum trait values. And the OUCH methodology developed by Butler and King allows users to paint an adaptive hypothesis onto the branches of a tree, where different colors represent ecomorphs or habitats or other selective factors, and users can evaluate support for a convergent model in which the same selective regimes are found by multiple lineages. This method requires that the user specifies their hypothesis a priori. In other words, we have to decide which lineages we think are convergent. This may be a problem in some cases for a couple of reasons. First, if we initially identified ecomorphs based on their observed similarity to one another, there's an element of circularity if we paint regimes onto the tree based on ecomorph status and then test whether ecomorphs are in fact convergent. And second, not all species may fall into a defined category, and there's not always an obvious way to treat these non-ecomorph taxa. The idea behind surface is that we can let the data dictate where regimes are painted onto the tree with the goal of objectively finding cases of convergence. It uses stepwise AIC similar to the method Medusa, except that instead of finding shifts in speciation and extinction rates, it looks for shifts between selective regimes. I'll run through the steps of an analysis and then we'll have a look at how it works within R. We start with a phylogenetic tree plus data for one or preferably multiple quantitative traits for each species. Here we have body length and color for these nine imaginary fish species. We compare models using AIC, a measure of model performance that balances the model fit, its likelihood, against complexity, or the number of parameters. Likelihoods are added across each of the traits under the assumption that they have independent evolutionary parameters. The total number of parameters is a bit tricky but important. There's one parameter for each of the, in this case four, regime shifts, and then for each of the traits, we have an optimum parameter for each regime and a parameter for each of the stochastic and deterministic components of trait evolution. So we're modeling both the number of regime shifts and the number of regimes. The first or forward phase of a surface analysis begins with all lineages in the tree uh, belonging to the same regime and attracted to the same adaptive peak. We calculate the AIC of this model and then we add a regime shift to one branch at a time, recalculating the AIC for each candidate model, and identifying the shift point that has the best, i.e. the lowest, AIC value. We keep this regime shift in the model and start over, adding a shift to the best branch at each step. We do this until the AIC stops improving, at which point we have some number of shifts in the Hansen model, each of which is to a distinct regime. In the backward phase of surface, we try collapsing regimes one pair at a time into convergent regimes. And these are reached by multiple regime shifts. As models with fewer adaptive peaks have fewer parameters, the AIC may improve further and provide evidence for convergence. So we identify cases of convergence and again continue until the model no longer improves. At the end of the backward phase, we have a fitted model which may include convergent regime shifts. Now we'll give you a quick sense of how the analyses look when we run them within R. First, you should install the surface package from CRAN as well as OUCH and a few other dependencies. Load the package 
and import the data object surface demo, which contains a 25 taxon tree, as well as data for three traits that were simulated under a Hansen model with convergence. There are a couple of steps to ensure that the data are in a suitable format for analysis using the ouch functions. And then we call the function surface forward to add regimes to the model. I've told the function to output the progress of the analysis to the console as it goes. So it's showing the delta AIC for each candidate model, which represents a shift that's been placed on one new branch at a time. Negative delta AICs represent model improvements, and whichever one is lowest is added to the model. I've also told it to output simple plots of the AIC values of each model of each step, so we can see the distribution of AIC values above and below the uppermost horizontal line, which represents the AIC of the previous iteration of the forward phase. This process can be slow for very large data sets, as there are a large number of branches to check at each phase. But for this small tree, it will run in less than a minute, and will stop as soon as the AIC stops improving. In this case, this is after six regimes have been added to the model. We can visualize the current model using Surface's plotting functions. We can visualize the tree colored with the different regimes. In this, in this case, each regime is a different color because there's not yet any convergence that's been identified. And we can look at the trait values of the species, again colored by regime. In this example data set, it's apparent that there is convergence as there are clusters of regimes that are very near to each other in trait space. Now we start the backward phase of surface to see which pairs of regimes can be collapsed together to improve the model. This step can also be very slow if there are many regimes to check, but it's quite quick in this case. Surface finds two groups of regimes, a pair and a group of three, that can be collapsed into two convergent regimes. In this case, none of the collapses conflicts with one another, so they can all be accomplished in a single step. Now that the analysis is done, we can visualize how the AIC changed over the course of the forward and then the backward phases of surface. And we can look at where the collapsed regimes occur, both on the branches of the tree, as well as in trait space. For a more detailed demonstration of these and other features of Surface, the package comes with a tutorial vignette with explanations of the functions and executable R code. So that gives you an idea of how Surface works and what it can do. Please feel free to drop me a line if you have any questions or feedback, and I hope you enjoy the paper. Thanks.